Okay, we should be good this time. Welcome back to Minecraft Solo. After I'd screw up my session again, as usual. Because I'm dumb. Anyways, uh, today I was going to do stuff in this ravine, but... Even after going around, just taking out, like, little rocks here and there, trying to... Figure out where to put windows and stuff for things. What I wanted to do is, like, do stuff for, like, structural integrity kind of thing. Like, maybe, you know, have support columns here and there, but... My problem is, like, I was right into an issue of I wasn't sure where I wanted to do that after all or not, because it would kind of make this entire area really claustrophobic. Plus, like, not all of these ledges line up really nicely. Like, they do over here, kind of, but like, further down, they'll always line up. It's just... It's one of those things where, honestly, I'd rather just do that off-screen, because it's going to take me, like, four hours to figure out. So instead, today I'm going to do something completely different from what I had planned. And I just kind of throw this right off the top of my head, but see, does I still haven't done all the stuff in 1.4 yet. I've decided uh, I'm going to go out and uh, attempt to find some carrots and potatoes. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my first line of thought here, which is uh, try and probably find a village, because that would probably be the most interesting thing to do. However, it's probably going to be kind of hard to find one. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to uh, run over here and grab my boat. What do I have on me anyway? I have plenty of survival resources. I think I'm good. No matter what I run into. So yeah, let's just uh, try to find where I left my boat. And we'll take it from there. Oh boy. I think my boat should be over here. Yes, it is. And off we go to explore unknown lands because I've got nothing better to do. So I've already explored up to here at least. I've explored a little bit further on the coastline too, but I haven't really ever found a village or anything like that yet. It's going to be kind of hard to find a map. So I'm going to basically, I'm just going to check the coastline up here and see what I find. Okay, so far so good. Except for the fact that it's turning night and I brought no bed with me. Was there a sheep back there? There was. There are a couple of sheep. I think I know what I'm doing. Making myself some uh, emergency shears. I was actually a professional guy out of a boat there. Is that three? That's two. Useless sheep. Over here, I need to trim you. Okay, that should be three exactly. Cool. Give me a second while I get ready to sleep really quickly. I seriously can't place a bed in the trees. Damn it. Oh, sleep really quick before stuff spawns. Even though stuff's probably already started spawning. You never know. And we should be good. Before I leave this landmass, I want to just kind of get up on this cliff here and see what there is to see. We have a cave system. This is a really weird cave system with a lot of lighting glitches. So, let's get on top of this hill see if there is anything. Well, it looks like it's all mountain biome, and to my knowledge, villages don't spawn mountain biomes, so I'm not even going to check any further. Instead, I'll get back on my boat, and we'll continue on our journey. I think we just went around the entire continent and came back. Yeah, because this is the desert I'm thinking of, and this is definitely... At least I'm pretty sure it's the desert that's across from the swamp biome. Can't really see because it's all hilly, but I can always confirm it later. 
But now I just want to climb up all the coast, see what I can see. If there is anything to see. Uh, plains biome. Please be a river that goes all the way through. Please. Okay, good, it is. Sweet. Kind of a random plains biome there, with seemingly nothing else. I'm just gonna park my boat right around here. Then I'm just gonna get to the highest point I can and see if I can find a village in this desert. Well, that's disappointing. Definitely nothing up there, so back to the boat we go. This is more or less what looking for a village is going to be, and if I don't find one by the time I go around this entire landmass or end up back home somehow, then uh, I'll probably just uh, try to kill zombies for it. You never know. I think we could use an exploration episode. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to show. I might have to make some uh, edits anyway, so. Depends on how long this entire trip takes. If I find nothing, then I'm not going to bar putting this on. Is that seriously the snow biome again? Well, hang on. Is this the same snow biome? There's really only one way to tell. That would be to try and find stuff that I know is from the snow biome. Like I'm pretty sure that's from the snow biome. Not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. We'll know why I come around this corner if this is indeed the snow biome. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, if that's the lagoon, I think it is, which I'll be able to tell once I get around this. Pretty sure it is, which means, yes, this is definitely the snow biome. Damn it. Well, you've almost come full circle. Fortunately, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is definitely a snow biome. <laughs> that house confirms it. So I've been around the entire landmass and no villages. The only landmass left to go around would be this one. So unless there's a village on top of this hill, I don't think we're riding into a village. Which... Nah, I don't think there is. That is unfortunate. And there's already desert over there. Now there's definitely no village up there. That's my self-planted forest. Yeah, we just went full circle. God damn it. Well, we found absolutely nothing. So I might as well just uh, take our boat and head back inland. If I can navigate this without slowing down. Just had to slow down a little bit there, but. I'm actually doing some pretty good navigation here. This is like Pro Navigation 2012. Can I navigate around these squid? Yes, I can. And we just went full circle. So there you go. Problem is there's ice here, and this is going to be kind of narrowest part of the river because of the ice. So I think we'll just bring our boat right back home because we found absolutely nothing. That was a pointless journey. And I broke my boat because I didn't turn it fast enough. Oh well. We're back home anyway. Who cares? That was a... What? 15 minute waste of time? 20 minutes? I don't know. So it is abundantly clear that there is definitely no villagers around on this main continent. And because I don't feel like sailing off into the ocean for 10 minutes hoping to find one. I think I'm just gonna... Go with plan B. 
Because for those of you who don't know what Plan B is, Plan B is probably going to involve me just hoping I get lucky. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for night to fall because that should happen soon. I hope. I suppose while I'm down here I can go play around with my chests and that, see what I have. Fire resistance, swiftness, strength. Stuff like that that I don't really need. Actually what plan B is is probably gonna be a abuse a mob spawner. I think I'll make my own mob grinder. That's what I'll do. Why not? I've never really attempted one before. So this should be interesting. I'm gonna need probably at least two more buckets. My knowledge. I'm sure I'll grab five. Five buckets. Because I'm probably more than likely going to need to do stuff. Depending on how I build this mob grinder, we'll see how it turns out. Also, while I'm here, I think I'm going to build. Quite a few signs. Why? Because they can be used in mob grinders, to my knowledge. So let us build like 12. Plus these two. We should be good. Now I know where there is a zombie dungeon. It's the first dungeon we really found on this map, so. Let us run back to where this dungeon is. It's not too far away. It's actually in the Winter Village. I actually probably could have taken the minecart system to it, but whatever. Then I can't go under there anymore. That's right. Never mind. I'll go this way. I'll jump the fence too. And we're back to the Winter Village. So, what we're going to have to do is find this mob spawner, which is way over here. I'm going to have to convert it into a proper thing. Probably don't need this and 